Climaver is an efficient and easy-to-process system for the construction of self-supporting, insulated air conditioning and ventilation ducts. The use of an additional metal sheet for ducting is not necessary. The basis is the Climaver board from which all the required duct segments can be created directly at the job site. The result is a self-supporting ventilation and air conditioning duct with integrated insulation that is up to 70% lighter than traditional metal duct. Furthermore, it offers significantly better sound insulation than conventional, insulated metal duct. So in most of the cases it is no longer necessary to use additional silencers. The Climaver system includes a full range of tools and accessories. The Climaver board is the basis for creating self-supporting HVAC ducts. Made of high-density glass wool insulation boards, faced on both sides, Climaver is an air duct, as well as thermal and acoustic insulation in one. The Climaver toolbox contains a practical set of all the necessary cutting tools. The Climaver stapler is used to quickly fix the components. The Climaver knife, with an hybrid blade, is used for cutting the boards and cleaning the overlap. The ruler scale indicates the internal duct dimension. Climaver aluminium tape is used for permanent, airtight bonding of the duct, and fabric tape is used for connecting other HVAC devices. The practical Climaver spatula is used to fix the adhesive tapes by pressure. Climaver glue is used for bonding shapes using the straight duct method. Perfiver H and Perfiver L aluminium profile are used for connections or for increased longitudinal edge protection. Straight duct segments can be individually created from a board for different duct sizes. Cutting is done with color-coded Climaver cutting tools. The tools differ in blades and produce different cutting geometries. The Climaver ruler facilitates the cutting process. It shows exactly the required inner dimensions of the ducts. The first three cuts are made with the tool marked in red. The cutting excess first remain in the panel and are only slightly pressed in for a better orientation for following cuts. In this way, starting from the left, a total of three cuts are made with the red tool. The Climaver ruler is always aligned with the second cut line of the previously created incision. The last cut is always made with the blue tool to create the required lamination overhang. Here, the board is cut with the Climaver knife. In this step, the lamination overlap is also cleaned. Afterwards, the board is angled slightly and the excess material can now be easily removed. At the resulting overlap, the board is folded by 90 degrees to form the duct. The lamination overlap is folded over and fixed with the stapler. Afterwards, the joint is hermetically closed with the Climaver aluminium tape. The Climaver spatula is used to support and secure adhesion. The duct segment created in this way is now perfectly prepared for installation or further processing. Alternatively, to reduce waste generation, straight duct segments can also be made from two L-shaped pieces, one U-shaped piece and one single piece, or from four individual pieces. Most duct fittings are simply made from a straight duct segment. Printed cutting aid markings at 90 degrees and 22.5 degrees support easy processing.
The first cut is made with the white marked cutting tool with a straight 90 degrees blade. It starts at a minimum distance of 200 mm from the duct opening and follows the 22.5 degrees marking. The second cut is made at a distance of at least 150 mm at the opposite angle. Then the duct is rotated once by 90 degrees. The following cuts are made with the tool marked in yellow. The blades of this tool are at an angle of 22.5 degrees. It must be aligned so that the blades follow the cut already made. The 90 degrees dotted line serves as an orientation. The tool is turned and the second cut is made. Then the duct is rotated by 180 degrees. The next cuts are made again with the tool marked in yellow. Then the duct is turned for the last time. With the tool marked in white, the previous cuts are connected. The duct segment is now divided into three sections. The middle section is rotated by 180 degrees. A continuous bead of climber glue is applied to the inside of one cut edge. The duct segments can then be joined together. Afterwards, all cut edges are again covered with Climover aluminium tape and pressed on with the Climover spatula. In this way, the following individual shapes can be created. 45 degrees bends. Offsets. Reductions. Standard branches. Single branches in R shape. Double branches in Y shape. Or even triple branches. With Climover, the finished HVAC duct can be created in just a few cuts, easily, quickly and flexibly.